welcome to a Toby Knits Vlogmas Day 6. Now, if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I grab a cup of tea, get comfy. Typically, Mondays I talk about knitting, Wednesdays is cross-stitch, and Fridays is quilting. But this whole month, I'm coming to you every single day for not always a long video, but then sometimes it will be long because I talk a lot. And, um... You'll be getting to see my advent openings and um, little bits of my everyday life. Get to see little Tristan Lots, my grandson, and uh, trips I've been on and, and am going on and all that kind of fun stuff. So buckle in and get cozy. Uh, for all my returning and new viewers, oh, welcome back. You know the drill by now. Anyway, so today um, I wanted to go over with you some of my Vlogmas plans. <laughs> and I have tons of ideas. Whether they all come to fruition will be, you know, another story. But we're going to try. We're going to try. So there are stuff like my book of socks. I have this fabulous book that I got about three or four years ago now. And in it... I have been, uh, I make it, you put a picture of the sock you've finished and all the details about the sock and stuff. So I'm going to grab that and find the socks if I still have them. Some were gifted and some were, um, have got old and holy <laughs> and made it to the bin. So um, we'll go over them and see what those socks look like today. So I thought that would be a fun one. Of course, then um, what I knit in 2022, I figured that'd be a good one. And then another one would be my plans for 2023 knitting. And then the same for quilting plans, what I quilted in 2022, um, cross stitch plans, what I plan for 2023, and um what else um oh my first ever design i wanted to show you my very first design which is actually going to be going on my christmas tree <laughs> so i think two of them are on my christmas tree so i have to show you those and then i didn't design for a long long time not that i'm a brilliant designer but you know i like having it's fun i like doing it but then i did start designing again and um, I did one at um, our cross stitch retreat that we did for the first time in, um, I think it was in November. No, it was October. It was October. And uh, that had a Halloween theme. So I'll show you my Halloween design I made. So that'll be another day. And then um, I'm going to be flying to Nova Scotia. So I'll take you with me there to see my other son, Sean. And the lovely Leo and Megan, and we'll you can I'll take you on a couple of trips. We have a few fun things planned while we're there, and um, I'm going to a ladies' night out tomorrow in the village, so I might see if she'll let me video there because she has this beautiful house that is um, I think she uses it for wedding venues, and. Um, We'll do some Christmas baking with Tristan, of course. We did the, the, the we tried to decorate the house yesterday with him, but we only got so far. Mm. Uh, he was obsessed with the uh, Mark the Moose. You'll probably see that at some point. It never stopped yesterday. Let me just. I was thinking about removing the batteries, but you know. Uh, anyway. <laughs> So, um, so I'm, we're going to finish decorating the tree today. So I'll put some pictures up of that later once it's we've done it. Um, of course, there might be some snow, which, you know, I live in Canada, so there's bound to be some snow at some point. And uh, what else did I want to put? Uh, oh, I might have a giveaway. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a giveaway at some point. So you have to keep watching every day to find out when. So those are some of my Vlogmas ideas. And um, I'm wobbling the table. Sorry. <laughs> so let's get into the really good stuff, which is the Advent opening. So I have two. I have the knitting one and the quilted one. 
So let's start with the knitting one. As you know, I'm doing uh, using my mixed tape minis from Ellie of Crafters Magic that I've been saving all year. And I'm making them into her sound wave cowl, which is coming out beautifully and super easy to do. I'm not kidding. Um, so every so many rows, and she tells you in the pattern how to do it, you get to change your color. So we've had three blues, a gold, a beautiful purple, and today, <gasps> green! Oh my gosh, this is going to be so colorful. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, isn't that gorgeous, that green? It's kind of like tonal. It's got light greens and dark greens. Oh my gosh, I love it. She is one of the best dyers I know. How do you, like, isn't that amazing? I love that. So this color, as you know, she names them after songs, is Welcome to the, Welcome to Paradise by Green Day. Mm, I don't think I know that one. 1994. Anyway, this was in the October 2022 mixtape minis. So, ooh, and I was going to try to do it every other day, but I'm so excited to get these colors in. I'm going to have to really have an, a day where I just sit and catch up because I'm, like, I'm only on day two. But I love it. Anyway, the other thing that I've got is the quilting one. I think this is six. Yeah. Yeah, because that's why the star is on the bottom, man. Duh. Um, this is from... Oh, this is hard. Oh, it's in a it's in a package inside. This is from um, oh, Water Girl Quilts, who are in Prescott. They are a um, in Pres Prescott, Ontario, and this is an advent that they kind of based on the Jenny Dones of Missouri Star Quilts. Her countdown to Christmas. But this is all Canadian content. And today we have... Oh my gosh. Do you know, I looked at this a whole pile of times to decide I didn't even know what it was. I still couldn't figure out. I thought, is it, is it chalk that you use, you know, for the... Uh, marking your lines I'm thinking well no they'd have they'd have to give us something to do that with and then I thought well is it glitter or something no it's an iron cleaner who knew who knew you could have an iron cleaner isn't that amazing so it says heat iron to wool setting when hot rub cleaner over the sole of the iron Wait a few seconds, repeat if necessary. After using the iron cleaner, we recommend you give some steam blast in order to remove the possible deposits left in the holes of the sole, then wipe with a soft rag. Isn't that cool? I've never heard of that before. I'm so excited. Thank you, Water Girl Quilts. This is amazing. I love that. Well, I'm definitely going to try that later today. So those are my two advents for today. And the last thing I want to show you before um, I end with some of the Christmas decorations is I started, because I couldn't wait, the Bakery Bears um, advent that they're doing, which is for their Patreons, which you can still join. And you can just join for the month of December. Oh, Toby's coming down to tell me a story. Oh, no. Was that a squirrel? Is it in my garden? Go tell Daddy. Go tell Daddy. He's upstairs. Go tell him. Oh, dear me. It's, it's a calamity. The squirrels are all over the place today. And there were two in the backyard, and he was very distraught with that. And they're like this big because they're the little red ones, you know? Go tell Daddy. No, I'm not coming up. So, anyway, back to my story. Um, so the bakery bears are doing this advent and I absolutely adore it. And so every day they put a little video on their Patreon page and one day it's Kay and she has this design I'm going to show you and it's a Christmas stocking. Yes. Not when you wear, when you hang up, like 
and um and we learn all different things with it and it's uh but it's so easy too like it's look it's gonna look complicated but honest to god it is not complicated it's super easy and um i was kind of su surprised at myself when i i got this little part down i was like Ooh, look at me go um and then um every other day is dan and dan takes you on walks and historical gives you historical info um and they're only like nine, 10 minutes long each day. They're super cool. So you can join just for the whole month of December and then cancel if you don't want to. But I mean, they're so much fun and they have lots of stuff. I think it's like $7 for the month. So, I mean, you get such great, and you get this pattern. So anyway, let me show you the pattern. This is going to be a stocking and it's in DK weight. And it'll go this way, of course, because this is the top of the stocking. Isn't that the cutest and sweetest thing you have ever seen? Now, I'm. this was uh, 12 rows, 12 rounds. So um, what we're going to do next before this particular week is finished, but I was so tired last night, I didn't want to muck the next bit up it's three or four rows that are left and uh, I think it's four rows that we have left and it's going to be a Latvian braid never done one of them never done one of them and that's going to be in this gorgeous yellow so I'm super excited to get to finish this and then the next part that I have to do um because she releases them every other day and this released saturday this one so of course i'm playing catch up as usual um and then um i just love it look at it it's so sweet and then on um month yesterday was um the next part which i'm not telling you about until i've done it so you'll have to wait and um so I'm hoping to get that done this afternoon. So I'm all caught up with them because there's, you know, and then of course I have to work on the blanket today as well because I need that for Sunday. Ah. Um, I had to laugh at some of you when you were posting about how tired you were getting. Isabel was saying how tired she was getting just listening to me talking about all the stuff I have to do. But, uh, you know, I love, 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 love knitting and I love all the crafts that I do and it's like all I want to do is just craft all day <laughs> of course I do have other things I have to do like we have to go groceries in a minute and um looking after Tristan and stuff so you know I do have to squish them in but I spend most of my evenings crafting because I can't just sit and watch the television I'm bored to death doing that so I would fall asleep so that's where I do most of my crafting in the evening um, when I'm sitting watching the tally. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I, ma I do manage to get it all done, which is amazing. Uh, and I do have a planner and maybe one day I'll show you my planner and how I plan everything out for the week and what days I'm working on what so that it keeps me on track, so it keeps me busy. Anyway, I'm going to go because um, we have to go do groceries now. I think I need tea bags. And, and I will end with some pictures of Tristan helping us yesterday. Not quite sure he was actually helping. And, and what the house looks like now it's decorated. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye! We're dancing, eh, Tristan? Oh, he fell down. Okay, you gotta dance. There she is. There she is. Tristan did it.